here we are again. Another cruising with goggles. And uh, <clears throat> this time um, we're in the uh, Colton Thompson K KW900 flat glass. A pretty cool truck actually. And uh, it's a 2020 flat glass. Good look. Um, 42 inch sleeper. Yeah. Chaparral hotshot part step deck with the, uh, I guess, I don't know if we can see it here. No, I can't see it from here. Let's go around here. Got the uh, matching paint job on the on the trailer. So uh, let's hop in. Get out of this racket. We're uh, <laughs> kind of strange. We're picking up lumber at a uh, log site. Huh. Anyway, I didn't see the processing plant around, but uh, must be one hidden in the woods here. And uh, yeah, so we're just east of Steamboat Springs, and we're headed for Fort Collins. They're doing an awful lot of running around in the southwest, so that would be kind of nice to get up here. And I haven't been around this area for quite a while. Uh, Z-Mods DD60, of course. Really, fuller transmissions, Radro developments, 24-5 uh, wheel pack, Bart step deck. Life is good. Yeah, this is a pretty nice truck. I like the uh, I like the interior. I like these W900s with the step down uh, window and all that visibility out the right side there. That's pretty good. Noisy seat. <laughs> they will begin. Ah, I haven't used this profile forever. This is the uh, a convoy profile that I use with my buddy Matt, and uh, he likes that. Uh, he likes the seat mod. And uh, we had it in our mod order. I keep forgetting to take it out when I do single trips. Uh, we'll get on the highway soon enough and it'll quiet down. Yeah, it's nice on this truck that you can paint the, uh, the deck, the rear uh, uh, deck surface on the chassis. I could also, if I wanted, put stripes on the frame, but that, I tried it and it was too much. So I just went with just the uh, pins, uh, flames. And I've got, uh, let's see, I got John Ruta's what, 30, oh, traction again. I got John Ruta's uh, 36 inch sleeper in this paint job done, uh, but I've got to uh, get after finishing his, uh, we got to do the 48 and the 63, man listen to that, you know what it is, well, depends what part of the map you're on, and these tires are, weren't the worst in the tire traction test. That was the uh, the good one. Was the uh, was it the XDY heavy duty or duty? And uh, I was even having these problems with that tire. 
at certain parts of the map. seat certainly isn't letting up. Wow, even spinning going downhill. The trailer brake's definitely off. back here. Turn right. I'm going to get him to stop. Yeah, he's going to stop. Awesome. Now the traction's okay. So I guess you probably noticed I'm sort of alternating back and forth every now and then with this, uh, with my lighting in the room here, and uh, I kind of like this softer light. Uh, with just just uh, got a a bulb over up over my left shoulder, a little ways away, and uh, just a dash panel. Kind of like it. It's easy on the eyes after a long day. Jump out, okay, look at this truck. Smart looking truck. It's not got a bajillion options, but oh, honestly, it doesn't need a whole bunch because it's it's pretty cool. I know some trucks when you uh, first get them, you look at them and go, "Wow, that's pretty bad." <laughs> Like a plain brown wrapper kind of thing, and then you uh, then you get uh, start accessorizing it and stuff, and realize what you can do with it. The one that comes to mind is uh, I always a little startled when I get the KSW 352 and start you know fixing one up from scratch. You go, man. It's got a long way to go, and then in no time you got a really good looking truck with all of the different options, whatever, all the things you can do to it. It's a great truck, I really like it. I'm kind of tempted to uh, see what I can do with uh, a flame job on a cab over. I'm kind of intrigued by that.
I hope somebody's turning off up here. Might be us. Looks like we turn left up here. Just hope the fellow in front of us doesn't. After 100 yards, turn left. So it's funny. <laughs> I go down here in a convoy with Matt once, and uh, I go down here to the corner and turn, turn left, left, and he was behind me. I come around the corner, and he's in front of me. Because <laughs> he, he took that exit as an entrance. Oh, now look at this. Here's the traction gone again. Man, that's annoying. Drive it like you got a slipping clutch. Well, it's not going to work very well on these hills. I'll be uh, getting a new patch of terrain soon. drive you guys nuts listening to that. Man, that's bad. So, this is a terrain change here. Pavement changed, but traction didn't. Well, we don't have time to stop or slow down, Mounties. Yeehaw. Well, there's the heat. Like it says at the end of my uh, video, the closing thing, ATS is a game. <laughs> the roads of the world are not. You wouldn't want to do that in real life. Oh, gee. So annoying. Something changed a little bit there. It's a little bit better. You have a look at this scenery. That's pretty good. A screenshot here. Yeah, attraction's good again. That is the darndest thing. Out there. Wow. 
kind of looks like the Scottish Moors up here. Or uh, not the Moors, the Highlands, sorry. Until you get here and then a little bit more grand. That's their big mountain over there, Ben Nevis or something like that. screenshot that could be the one for the, the video I keep forgetting to do that and I have to go and afterward go and take a picture of the truck empty where I parked it for the uh, video oh man look at this it's crazy another one like a tourist with a new camera sorry guys uh oh Amazing drive this is. I got to. Uh, I'd like to take a video of the. Uh, I think it's supposed to be the Glenwood Canyon. The uh, from Denver. Going west up over the I up to the Eisenhower Tunnel. That's a pretty cool drive. It's it's nice, but you know, there's a lot of traffic and it's got that really long, slow downhill. But nevertheless, should be able to find a job there that's not uh, wouldn't take too long. Okay, we'll stop this time. Almost. Oh, we're going to get that light post in the kisser. This uh, Bart step deck. Oh, I got my hotshot license plate on there. Oh, yeah, this is nice too. This would be pretty scenic. Oh, better go that low. Oh, I'm going way wide there. View here so we can see more of this. Get down low here. Traction trouble.
that line. Anybody behind me? Oh, <laughs> they didn't hit the brakes. Is that Detroit? Is that bus? Hey, Jimmy. quite done with this Detroit yet. I prefer the one I have in this truck <laughs> to the old green leaker in that bus. A lot of people dying to get in there. Go straight. Yeah, it's a nice little town that we're just driving through here. Oh, there's the Freightliner dealership over there. What the heck is that building? What does it say up there? Sariva something or other. Let's see, we drive by here. Go straight. After light, it's the Roswell of Colorado. Go straight. Should have a little look at the map here. Uh, 
have eight kilometers to go. Destination is. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to go in the left lane. Yeah, it's a little different. The time passing at a rate of knots here uh, compared to driving that one to one map for the last three or four videos. And a lot more on there that you haven't seen. <laughs> I suppose I should let this guy go. I gotta turn off here right away anyway. It's not like I'm going far. It's nice with the uh, sun rays coming in the window through the trees here. Nice effect. Action is back. One hundred yards, turn left. Turn left. Yeah, too bad this doesn't have under cables. Uh, that would be really cool with the, uh, the rear, rear uh, chassis trailer uh, cable connectors. You could get that stand off of the flames. The option is the box. And the box actually looks worse on there than the, uh, the uh, stand for some reason. It's just how does the stand just and those flames are, just don't go together. ever wonder where your veal comes from all those little hot things back there that's where they raise calves for veal keep them separated from each other so it's pretty sad did a lap of the farm. We could have come in the second entrance. <laughs> There's also a shortcut through here that I didn't take. I believe you can uh, come through right between these buildings here. You have reached your destination. Ah, uh, well, we got did a lap of the farm. Yeah, right there. You can come through right over there. Oh, well, I didn't irritate my navigator. Oh, okay, what's that? Into the building? Or yeah, it is actually. That's interesting.
I didn't don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Oh yeah. Oh I got by there. Woohoo! Scarios. That's gonna be the ugly parking job, but we'll see if they give it to us. Ah, oh, better fix that up. That's no way to do it. Oh. It's really tight down that side. Yeah, there's something inside we're running into. Wow, well, now that's not good. Wow. Got ourselves in a jam here. idea what's back there that the wheels are going up. Now we got audio problems. Wow. Got ourselves into a bind here. Can't tell what it's uh, catching on. It doesn't, they don't see anything on the floor. as far this time. Just go to here. Pull out ahead again. See if we can save the day here. Oh, that was pretty ugly, guys. I think we'll just... Go ahead and straighten it up a little better in that. All right, let's um. Oh yeah, it's over here now. Let's see. Well, apart from the ending, it was a pretty good trip. Yeah, uh, let's go continue. Drive. Just pull. Oh, lights went out all over the world. It, yeah, I wanted to have a look at the uh, flames under the deck there, but oh yeah, I guess we can if we put on the brake lights. But uh, yeah, I really, uh, I really like this truck. I haven't driven it in quite a while, but I've got so many trucks and so many trucks to paint and. You know, you, uh, you don't get to just pick one and stick with it for a while. Oh, I could have taken the Kenworth off the side of it there. To not interfere with the flames. But anyway, well, there we go. Thanks for riding along, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. And uh, take care. Bye for now.